Welcome back to Juggling Gym. Today I'm going to show you how to make DIY cigar boxes using stuff you already have at home. You're going to need three boxes of your favorite cereal. You want to make a line 4.75 inches away from the bottom of the box. And then you're just going to cut down to the line that you made. Then you're just going to cut in a straight line around the cereal box. Now we have the bottom part of our cigar box. Next, it's time to fill the cigar box. I put about six ankle socks inside. You want it to be full and evenly distributed, but you don't want it to be so full that it starts to bend the sides of the box. Take the top of the box that has the front part and the side piece and tape it to the cigar box. And in hindsight, it would have been nice if these parts were both together and then I could have just slid it on, but I didn't do that, so here's another way to do it. Try to get it nice and lined up. Then cut across the bottom to make this a little bit easier. Line up the other piece and then tape it on too. And if you did it correctly, it'll close like that. Then you can cut the piece that's too long. So I realized I need another piece of tape to keep this part of the box down, like that. And then I'm going to do the same thing over here. And now I'm ready to tape the top of the box. Now I'm going to come back and fix this part of the box that doesn't look good. It might make sense to measure that beforehand, but here we are. Now you're going to put tape all around the box to create more friction for the cigar box tricks. And you want it to be one long piece of tape, not several small pieces. I'm going to do one more piece of tape just because it feels a little unstable. And then I'm just going to cut this because I don't like the way it looks. I've been using these cigar boxes for about a week, so I'm going to tell you about my experiences with them, what I would do differently if I made them again, how to keep them in the best shape, and then I'll show you some tricks at the end. The first thing I did is I added some tape because it needed to be reinforced. So I added tape all around the sides, connecting it to the face of the box, and I did this on the front, and I did this on the back. And so it's pretty self-explanatory. You just take the tape, you rip it vertically so it's half as wide as before, and then you just put it on. Something else that's really helpful is you always want to grab the cigar box from the bottom instead of the top because the top is the part that we tape together and the bottom part has been intact the whole time. You also want to practice over a soft surface like a couch or a bed. If you practice over a hard surface like wood or concrete, it's obviously going to get weakened each time you drop it. I also wanted to talk a little bit about the cigar box I filmed myself making and the one I made previously off camera. And you can tell it's different because it has a different design on the front of the box. For this one, when I put the top part of the box onto the bottom part of the box, the top part of the box was still intact. But for this one, the two top pieces of the box were separate, so I had to tape them onto the box separately. Overall, I'd recommend making like this, although the way I showed you earlier is still good, it's just a little bit less sturdy. If you do make it like this, just make sure the top part of the box goes all the way to the bottom part of the box. You can see right here, this is where it ends, and because of that, it's a little bit uneven right here, which makes it difficult, or a little bit more difficult to line up all the boxes perfectly straight. Overall, I'm really pleased with how these cigar boxes turned out. The only problem I noticed is that they're starting to curve inward just a little bit. They're not entirely flat anymore, and that's just because they're made out of cardboard and not wood like real cigar boxes. These DIY boxes are a great way to get started without spending 60 bucks on actual cigar boxes. And then of course, if you like them, you can buy some of your own. 